not supposed to be up to 10. Of course, the people they use for Minecraft live are the ones that actually got the good gameplay from the Sonic DLC and didn't. Look okay. how it's mostly just Bedrock Edition. It's mostly just Bedrock. And this is one of my favorites. This is a pool table. My design of a pool Except table that, here. That might be We've got our little holes that the balls can fall into. We've got a ball here. No, I'm this is oh, bad. Oh, 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 no, 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 Remember, do the things that do not spread the thing that I'm not going to mention because it's a... No. Will we get only 419. Please tell me we get archaeology. Please. People know it's key mod, but this isn't even Minecraft. This is Dungeons. I mean, I guess it's technically Minecraft. Guess, please tell us what's going on with the Warden. Just give us some update. Like, oh, sorry, I had to be pushed back to 1.19 because we're so busy with the new world generation. Or say, oh, yeah, it's coming in the next snapshot or something. Because, come on, it's been a year. Hello and welcome to Minecraft Live 2021. I'm your host and chief storyteller of Mojang Studios. Well, you have a set that actually Lydia looks Witches. like Minecraft. We have an exciting show for you today, filled with all things Minecraft. You'll vote a new mob into the game, and it will be the player. Minecraft Dungeons, learn how to design and play with your own Minecraft mob, find out the next Minecraft update, and much, much more. Seriously, though, we have a packed show for you. The best How part is that you get to baking. hear everything directly from the cool humans making it. And they will give you the <laughs> inside the knowledge baking segment. that I saw no that like 2019. I'm just like, why? Knows, our best kept secrets. Until we tell you all of them, today. So what about 1.19? How you're going to add everything you promised for the last three mod boats? Ostriches, desert update, meerkats. Our social team will be tweeting throughout the show <laughs> and want to know what you think about everything we announced. I have Twitter Hang out up. with us here and also there. Last year, we announced quite an anticipated update, the Caves in the Cliffs update. We've seen all the incredible things you've done with Caves in Cliffs Part 1 and can't wait to see what you do with Part 2. Agnes and Henrik are here to give us a peek into the surprising development process for Caves in Cliffs Part 2. Hi, Agnes, right. hi, Henrik. Hello. Hello. Agnes, how are you feeling? I'm super point. happy to be here. Just I'm excited. I'm very excited. So excited. And Henry, Wait, where's your first time on the Minecraft it Live stage. It's not your first time though, right? Where's it Jeff? is not my first what time. What the hell, You two are going to tell us about Caves and Cliffs Part 2. And the thing that I think is the most amazing is how involved and how essential the community was to making it. Yes. Yeah, this update changes basically everything about, world, about the world generation in the game. So we've added like massive uh, mountains, massive caves, and. Um, it's been really hard to kind of uh, balance that because we want to add all this yeah. new cool stuff but when people are playing the game we also want them to be able to encounter like the old familiar stuff so this, this balancing act is really hard so as designers and developers when we you know test the stuff we built how do we know if it's any good right how do we know if it's, if it's better so we, we've needed a lot of help and we've definitely gotten it so we've been shipping snapshots uh, betas every week and, and the people have been play testing and giving us feedback the and it's it's just been wonderful Where's it feels kind of like their uh, colleagues are helping us to yeah. build this great game that's amazing and you have a like an amazing example of someone who took a lot of time giving yes notes. yeah um <laughs> for example on 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 uh, uh, a a player gave a tweeted at me it is uh, a lot uh, this wonderful big picture 
showing it, like it's, uh, across different snapshots. It's a it's a show. The same location, At the end of the day, it's like a new it's like a Grammy announcement or something. It was basically and just like on that the Grammys or whatever, where they're just like, oh, we're gonna talk about it's, it's useless crap and only like, a lot of boring stuff, stuff later just, because for some reason we also it's like the Super Bowl except make the game better. The Super Bowl actually does crap instead of the the halftime show. This is like the biggest update we ever done, and we couldn't have done it without the community. Oh, that's incredible. And I know you were kind of nervous when you decided to split the update and, like, tell everyone about that. Yes, I mean, that's a... You should it's better a tell us a bit. I'm glad you told uh, us about it. Imagine just them shipping at 1.17 and saying, Hey, by the way, World scary. Generation's it's not here. You gotta wait another update. Better. You would be pissed. Because, like, as we know, like, Minecraft is You'd be pissed if, um, and then they were just like, Haha, 1.17's here, but guess what? <laughs> we don't have World Generation. Cry about it. Cry about it. We're Mojang. We're a bad company, except we're not, because we're a good company, so we're gonna tell you like good people. And it was so nice as a team to be able to not, not like Nintendo, who charges fifty dollars a year for some stupid Animal Crossing DLC. Really well, so that's packed in with the Nintendo sixty four. So strong support for it. S Seriously, that's Nintendo. Awesome. Please. I mean, sometimes Nobody during wants the development only process, Animal Crossing fans like, things want the Animal Crossing crap. I don't bigger and better with Take it out them to a different of the expansion and I know we for your month yearly really membership and then maybe yeah, I'll do. care again. We have been working quite a lot Until then, I'm going to keep paying for the $20 one so I can at least get smashed so excited online. About this and we know everyone is. And so it's got to be bigger because we really want to do it right and do it with super high quality. But that, that's also the reason that we have moved it to the next update. Let us talk about and the we're going to talk about the next update at the end of the show, yes. right? So we're going to oh show both some new things for the Deep Dark and some other new things for this update. So we'll move the Deep Dark feature set into the next update, which will be after Caves and Coast Part 2. And we're going to look at that later in the show. You're going to get to see some really cool <laughs> stuff from Brandon. Now, Henrik and Agnes, are you, you serious? two are working with an awesome team you of moved and the Deep Dark was, like, quite a to 1.19. inside look at a lot that went okay, into Caves and Coast Part 2. Yep. I, I made it sound I made it sound like I was pissed off, but no, no, it's all right. The best part of my job, I think it's just creating a game. Um, uh, she said the Deep Dark is the next happy. update after 1.18. In the new update, my, I've been primarily Which means that the, the Warden is coming in 1.19, not 1.18. So that's the caves okay, and the mountains and everything in between. At least uh, we now know what it's what happening, what happened with it. And I learned so much. At least we know what happened, and maybe that's still gonna be like June 2022. That's not that long from now. It's not like this update, my role is to that's forever the away. Part, um, and together with our colleague, it's not like we have to wait three years we, for an update. Uh, present to you the clips and the caves update. Honestly, it's fine that they split this apart. I mean, this is kind of their biggest um, update. This is kind of just been a pain uh, to produce. Vietnam, you literally changed the entire way the game um, plays. Of course, it's so going to be on like multiple updates for everything you had planned is finished. Use this cave systems in my country and put it into the game. So I felt I'm just so thinking about now how my survival world. I'm gonna have to go so far out. My job is to find for what all this crap slow in Minecraft and try to optimize it. Uh, the I, uh, what is it? changes how the world moves I've gone so far in my survival world, world. and it also so far out that when these new chunks are generating, I'm gonna have to go the best part even about my further out finding something which and give a big benefit and okay. then just seeing like, how M FPS improves or how really? frame time graph looks I think much creative better copy has even more generation so stuff I look up I and say the coolest be part about my job survival. is all of the wonderful colleague that I get to work with um, they really inspire me teach me and motivate me to to be a better versions of myself every day so we put in a lot of time and effort into this update, and I hope that it will inspire and excite our community. It feels like Brad, it's uh, a whole the new role. Game. The point is, you won't need to strip mine anymore. What a great team you have! The best team. And now, you know, we have been working on Kevin Chris Part 2. It's What's been so point? beautiful to see how everyone collaborated. What's the point of this new update is we won't need to strip build, mine. Java developers, designers, I'm artists, sorry. Founders, I'm so Ragdoll, you've been like the regular yeah, for like two you months. Like, I got used to just saying your name exclusively, okay? I got used to just saying Ragdoll. Well, now there's now rolls back for probably just one day only because I'm early enough 
for their time zone. So, I got used to saying just ragdoll, and now that there's another person here, it's kind of like, oh no. Anyways, the point is, you shouldn't need to do strip mine anymore, because you have this update. If you're still strip mining, then you're just not using the mine the update efficiently. Unless, of course, diamonds are still going to be crap defined, in that case, yeah. Extraordinary helpful. We have a really amazing community. <laughs> now, you two have been, and and actually the whole team has been just yes. kind of <laughs> sharing <laughs> images and scenes. Okay, but I need to know what did you people do to Jeb? Where is really Jeb? Awesome for us to look at. Indeed. Where's Jeb? <laughs> That's fun. Look at that. That's fun. You legitimately can't dig down now. Making help streak piano in Minecraft? Hey, uh, rag, rag doll. I don't want to say anything, but, uh, October 30th. We might just, we might just do some despair. Ninja Hunt. Anyways, uh, this is neat. I like Ninja Hunt. I do like Ninja Hunt. It's just gonna be so hard with my new world. My old world, I mean. Um, it's gonna generate so far out. But I'm gonna have to, like, make nether portals just to get to new chunks. From here on out. Every update here on out, I'm literally gonna have to put another portal down just to get new chunks. <laughs> Same goes wow. for the hard core. <laughs> they're, they're beautiful. <laughs> yeah, w what's interesting about this is when you look at that video, like, initially the plan was just big mountains and uh, natural looking cool mountains and a cave, but as we started working on it, the the scope kind of grew because we realized that we need to change all the terrain to make this all fit together. But but once we started seeing that work, and it was so fun to see how the team started realizing that we're really onto something. This is going to be great. And seeing that inspiration spread and then also spread out to our community through the snapshots mm. has been really fun. Yeah, and we have been playtesting a lot. Then we're like, we couldn't stop playtesting. I don't know how long it's supposed to be. It's so many cool places, and it's. Yeah, I feel it's so inspiring, and that's what we want to do with Minecraft. We want to inspire everyone to play Minecraft in their own way. And like, we really feel that this new world generation inspires you, like going on adventure, building, etc. I mean, stories. I think Phil's has already done that, yeah, so you can just be Phil's. And Phil's is I mean, so you make boy. all these changes, but then obviously we have so many players who've been playing for so long. I mean, the two of you have worlds that are like 10 years old, and I just love the approach you took to keeping everything really safe for players who have existing worlds. It's very important for us to be respectful to players' worlds, and like Minecraft should be a game you can trust because if you know that it works and it will work for many, many years, then you can spend like all this love and, and time on your Minecraft world. So in Cave Minecraft Part Two, we have actually done two things mainly to make sure that everything works well, and the first thing is blending. So as you can see in the picture here, to the left we don't have blending. So then when you update your old world to the new world generation, it would just be like an well, ugly edge. Well, without just looks like a word from SMP because their world, is, world is broken. That's beautiful. That makes a huge difference. And Henrik, I know <laughs> the other part uh, you want to show us with your own world. Uh, yeah, so uh, um, what happens if you open your old world uh, with, with the new version of Minecraft and uh, um, I, I took a look at what happens in my old world, which I've had for like 10 years playing with, with friends and uh, family. And uh, let's, let's take a look. So that there it is, all the <laughs> old stuff we built 10 years ago. But cool. that's what happens when you when you open the world in 1.18. So it basically it? generates new caves beneath the old areas. Oh. And the idea is to create the illusion that that was there the whole time. We just, mm. you know, we just didn't go there until now. And mm. wow, look, look what I found. Yeah. Don't look, Henrik. There's so <laughs> many spoilers there. Under yeah. your world, so many cool I'm things. I'm actually grateful for that because I was kind of worried. <laughs> Update because I thought, oh god, I'm gonna have to go to new chunks to find all the new crap. Because that's what I had to do with one point. The last update. So cool! I just love that it adds so much to the existing worlds that are. Send me a sign block. I'm just keeping them safe and adding a lot to it. It's all bouncy. We don't want to force players to have to pick between just the new or just the old. We want them to be able to experience both things in in the same world. That's amazing. Throughout the show, we're going to have creator questions, and you two get to have the first one. Okay. Right. Will Daba and Betwa get part two at the same time? Uh, yes, the plan is to release this on Java and Bedrock at the same time, uh, and also to ship it with what we call seed parity. And that's uh, what does that mean? So, um, 
Steed is this name for the magic Rank number that's used to determine do that. how you don't the world do that. Like. So don't do that. Don't hurt animals. By the seed. And when you create a new world, push, uh, it gets a randomly push generated seed. Push seed. But if you dig push that seed up, if you really like places. what you see, you're like, wow, they're animals. Really wonderful. They're disgusting abominations that you don't deserve to live. And share it with others. They can be pushed off high places. And if they open uh, a new world with that seed, they'll see the same thing. Uh, but what's new for this update? Better hear is that the desert update. The, the desert needs an update, That's honestly. Amazing. So if you create a world in, in give Java, me a desert update. Oh my gosh, make desert. It's Anyone cool. Anyone who opens a world with that seed, regardless of which edition they're playing, will we'll see essentially make, um, almost exactly the same thing. I mean, Ragdoll, almost identical. You can't and change my mind. I'm going to assault glow squids all I want, and you can't change me because glow squids are the worst thing to have ever happened to Minecraft. And it's all Dream's fault, and he knows it's all his fault, which is why he shut his stupid mouth this time. And said, I'm not going to state my opinion, because if he does, he's going to rig the vote fairly. And the reason I'm so adamant about being pro-player is because I know I don't have the audience to rig the vote. That's what Grand Cole is. So, I know everyone is anxiously, including myself, waiting for this update. When do we get it? Sure. So it's actually almost done. So we're gonna release it in a month or two. That is amazing. So you hear that? Cave update. Cave update. Finally here. Jesus next month. Next month of December. Screen near you in one to two months. And speaking of screens, no, 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 no. Ragdoll. Ragdoll. No. Not tech. Ragdoll. No. Roll. My God. I'm so used to saying Ragdoll. I'm so sorry, Ragdoll. You did. You've done nothing wrong. Roll? No. Let's take a look at some Don't get your hopes up. Don't get your hopes up for a month. Zombies and the drown. Oh my god, why do I keep saying that? Right? Let's try another. Oh my god, why is that wrong? Please show Java. A relationship that's truly rock solid. Oh dear. Are we really doing this? How about crap again? And creeper. Okay, no, Ragdoll, you have not. I did the wrong thing because I keep mentioning you when I mean to. <laughs> Ugh, it's been so long since I've had two of you in the chat at the same time that I completely forgot both of you. And I just lumped you all into Ragdoll. What's that, goat? You've got the best example of togetherness yet. Okay, this better be good. Minecraft Bedrock Edition and Minecraft Java Edition. Finally, coming together for. No, that's not right. <laughs> Absolutely not. <laughs> that's a ticket. Minecraft Bedrock Edition and Minecraft Java Edition are coming to Xbox Game Pass for PC. We debated which edition to add to the service and decided why not add both. That means Game Pass for PC will be the only way to get Bedrock and Java in one place. Convenient, perhaps a little too. Damn it, Minecraft. Oh. In Damn it, Microsoft. Starting in November, you can play the original Blockbuster, its crossplay supporting cousins, and a cartload of other games with Game Pass for PC. Oh, look at my Excellent Microsoft point. making this all about themselves. We get it. You own Minecraft. I can't wait to play those PC games. We get it, Mo Microsoft. You own Minecraft. Ah, the sweet smell of together. We got it. You own my Microsoft. Hello, Minecrafters of the world. I'm Boo Booey, and I'm back yet again to help guide you through this year's incredibly important and potentially life-altering vote. Remember the Phantom? For an amazing oh mod that we added to Minecraft. <laughs> For those of you who haven't been a part of Minecraft Live before, here's how it works. Our developers team up with three different <laughs> they the fans. <laughs> a great addition to Minecraft for a variety of reasons. But you, the community of Minecraft players around the world, get to decide which one gets further developed and brought into the game in a future update, and which ones will live. I can do an Augie to laugh. I'm not going to, but I can. Like you, little baby. I'll never forget you. Thanks, Dream! Moving uh, on. The actual winner of <laughs> last year's intense mob vote was none other than the glow squid. If you haven't run into these majestic creatures swimming around under the sky, oh, I have. Clear night, Just they don't get to live afterwards. 
but that was last year and this every time i encounter a glow so squid i kill it on do. sight we have three mobs for you to choose from and there will be two rounds of voting the first round of course will include all three mobs but one will get voted out in the second round there will only be the two remaining mobs then just one winner in the end as in previous and years there will be the, the glare will happen on twitter so if you don't let me check let me check account, let me check if the votes up let me check if the votes up one. and if you do have an account make sure you're logged in then when i tell you it's time to vote oh, okay. go to the minecraft twitter account and okay check we don't out need the to live voting poll with all three mob options they're not voting Pick yet the one you want to see added to minecraft and click to cast your vote that's it it's like super easy well the clicking part is easy the choosing part considerably more difficult now Ragdoll, that you who are you voting for? This is very crucial. This options. is very crucial. And who better to talk about our three potential new mobs? Oh, good, you're gonna get to see. Someone who is tiny in size, but you're gonna get to see what their heart, what the your one, options are. The only tiny yens. You're gonna get to see your options. Don't worry. Here we go. You have to see hey, tiny yens. who you'll be voting for. Can you help by telling? What? Oh. What? I can't hear you. Well, so that's what happened Hold to Jeb. Oh, they I'm put him into a gag. Surface. Okay. We'll we'll just wait. Don't, don't worry, Ragdoll. They're gonna tell us about the mobs again. That way you get to learn. What? Ew! Ew! The AI is trending! What? Gross! Gross! The glare should be trending. Oh. We're not biased here, Ragdoll. We're not biased as to which mob we want. So don't let that sway your opinion. I'm actually very busy. I lost Tiny Agnes again. I had retraced my steps. And now I have to go all the way back down there. Oh, uh, sorry about that. Uh, but don't worry, don't worry. I know someone who can fill in for me. Great, thanks. Oh, okay. Actual jab. <laughs> no! <laughs> why is the way they both? Yeah. Actually, Copper Golem is my second Hello. choice, but Hello. Glare Hello. is still Hello. first. But no, why isn't the Glare trending? You? While he looks for Tiny Agnes it's once again. In. Exactly, exactly. It's a, it's, it's a tough one. It really it's gonna be quiet for well, Ragdoll so here, that they can learn what the new mobs are. All about this year's mobs. Absolutely. Uh, so, as you already mentioned, the team came up with uh, three lovely uh, creatures that we believe that players will enjoy interacting with. And uh, they are the Glare, the Lay, and the Copper Golem. Those all sound really Yay, Glare, ugh, a Lay, <laughs> and a Copper Golem. And uh, to begin with, we have the Glare, uh, which is a. Uh, it's, uh, a creature that flies around and uh, doesn't really like dark areas because okay. he knows that in dark areas there will might be monsters spawn. Yes. So naturally, he goes to those areas and gets really grumpy about it, <laughs> and, <laughs> and that is to bring that a player's attention so that the problem can be fixed. Okay. Um, and uh, we are uh, thinking about ideas uh, that in certain circumstances. Uh, the glare may even help you light up these areas okay. to, to sol solve your <laughs> monster spawning problems. The glare sounds amazing. I'm ready to it vote. Is. Yes, I love the glare. The I'm LA, making it canon and blades. It's also a flying, lovely creature uh, that loves music and uh, who doesn't? A nice, a nice sounds. And uh, Free labor. if you give it an item, it will start looking for similar items uh, lying around and bring them to you. Okay. And if you also to play on a note block free labor drop the items on the application instead that's uh, useful yes and we imagine that uh, LA will be able to use as labor maybe use this to make the LA help you with I don't know sorting items or clearing up areas LA forms uh, I think the, there are many Slave labor. okay so vote LA I get it yes but no we no no. And uh, as the name implies, it's a, it's a golem made out of copper, so it's an excellent use for copper. And uh, it will also like interact with you, and uh, since it's made out of copper, it will over time oxidize and uh, maybe like, turn into a statue. But don't worry. That would be you cool. Honestly, uh, oxidize it, it using an axe, or okay. it actually carries around a lightning rod on its head, so it, it will, a lightning strike can also be oxidized. Um, wow. In addition, uh, it loves. I'll explain the ally in a minute. Uh, don't worry. Buttons, a little bit randomly, uh, is specifically copper buttons. But it randomly pairs. Yes, so that can also be used in some interesting contraptions, we believe. That's amazing. So copper golem, ally, glare, 
basically what 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 Roll said in a non-biased standpoint the LA will go if you drop an item it will bring a duplicate of that item but only if it finds it in down on the world I guess it's it's just a hopper to me it literally will just find free items for you which it honestly people will just use for farms and abuse the poor creature People are just gonna, I swear, people will not use it as a pet. They are going to put it in, oh jeez, I just did my computer. I'm so sorry. Okay, those three questions, I think everyone wants to know the answer. Oh, psh. Yeah, uh, well, ideas and inspiration can come from many places. Sometimes it just spontaneously appears when you're walking around in the park, or uh, often like you play other games, watching movies, or playing Minecraft. Uh, and the community is also a great help. They have so many ideas, and they do so many fun things uh, so we we have a lot of ideas to work with and we need to figure out like which ones do we do want to do next and a good way of doing that is actually playing in the game and see which areas the can glare is super improve. cute i love the glare um so i want to glare uh, in real life just for a pet <laughs> i lost my train i mean there's so many <laughs> different ways that these ideas come and that's really exciting to hear yeah. so wh when the community votes on a mob today that mob is going to move forward towards being in Minecraft. Like, how finished already is that mob, or is there a lot of work to do? Well, of course we have the big concept that we want uh, to do, but once we have the mob in the game and see how it interacts with the areas no, and other no, mobs and items, that's when you kind of find the last magic little details to make no, it really glare, the, the difference with the glare is it's actually but going to light up an area the glow squid does not all right the glow squid now is you just know what your options are. brighter and if you already knew you know a little more about them we're voting so glare we are I'll very pro glare in this house goes live for now let's take a look at something pretty fantastic coming to minecraft that you don't even have to vote on Earlier this week, Lydia spoke with Fanny and Quinn from our I'm just gonna say this has actually been a very bad mob vote. Some interesting things they've been I working on. Actually just chose the glare just because I, uh, it cool helps builders made by our creators for Minecraft uh, press buttons. This year we're going That's to do it. that and it show presses you buttons. how to start creating Minecraft things. It oxidizes. You can I use the statues, which if it gets added, I actually would do stuff with. It's very weird. Fanny and Quinn are here to tell but us all about how we can buttons. all become creators. Hi, Fanny and Quinn. That's Hello, it. Hello, Lydia. So, hey, Lydia. It's so great to be here. It's really like, all it's it so does. exciting to talk about our creators and what a better place to do it than surrounded by the art that they have created. I know. I walked onto the set and I was like, oh my god, those are Jollycraft skins. Those are Cupcake Brianna. That's Ka Studios. It was so cool just seeing all of their skins and worlds and concepts all on the wall. They are really amazing. I mean, the creativity from our creators. Honestly, I names, could find a way to use the copper golem. I would do. I could do builds Before that have like statues. In, also, though, they might make good for like. Everyone, what, sometimes, what if you do like creator? ancient builds, yeah, you have like so either really remnant people who like anything in died or like got frozen. Skins, like if I was to like do a Pompeii build, I'd do like people like frozen, and I would use the copper golem to oxidize. What they must do with the copper golem is make a waxed variant that never oxidizes. Because what if you actually use it? And then oxidizes. We can't just keep going and using the axe. Deoxidize it every single time. And an oxidized version that you can have, or a waxed version that you can have eternally. It might take a while, but make that. I just don't like the Ally, to my opinion. I just don't like it. I just see it as the next Vex. And literally slave labor. That is literally all I see it as. That creators use yeah, this mod vote just wasn't things on good, top of. in my opinion. What is your favorite there are people that like this one. I know Philza oh said he can't choose which one to vote for because he likes them all. But this mod vote was just kind of... Like, the last mod votes were really good. 
Rank Vol, go on. Seriously? Seriously, don't listen to us. Vote for what you want. I've been very pro-glare for the last four days, but don't let my opinion sway what you vote for. I have a backup plan for the glare if it doesn't get added, and that backup plan is going to be reality even if it gets added, so I have a future for the glare. Vote for who you want to vote for. If you want the OI, go ahead. Vote the OI. I don't let me stop you. Just vote. Just vote. Don't listen to me. I just want the glare because I just want something to help me build. If you want the OI because it's cute, go ahead. Go ahead. Vote for the OI. Vote for the Alliance. The Alliance cool. is... I mean, so many of they all have their benefits. They all have their the negatives. Honestly, this like mod vote was just kind of bland to me. Can we just go back to having real-world animal awesome mod votes? There was something so much better about the real-world animal mod votes. Like 2018 with the fox, the ostrich, and the meerkat. That was... What? The... Whatever. Anyways, um... Like I was saying, what was I saying? Um, we need to go back to real world animal mom boats where we had like the fox, the fox, the ostrich, the meerkat, and then 2019 we had the vulture, the goat, and the frog. We need to go back to real world mom boats. Like, do another mod vote that adds like, uh, what other mods, could, what other real world animals could they add? Maybe in like a monkey to the jungles? I mean, aside from parrots and ocelots, there really aren't any mobs exclusive to the jungle. Um, maybe we make a new type of mushroom mob? That's not a real world mob, admittedly, but like something new for the mushroom biomes? I love how many examples there were of creators just. just Using those tools in Give all different ways. New? What's that like for you to see, world Fanny, that doesn't feel like we're just making stuff up at this point? The reason last mob boat was so diverse because the ones in this, this one just felt like we chose, like, one, two, like, two, let's choose small, cute amazing creatures amazing and have people like, vote for them. Anytime I see their creatures, I'm like, how do they even do that? Like, I know they're using our tools, but I don't know how they do that. Got a pack with multiple mobs and stuff to vote. It's mind-blowing sometimes just what they're able to do with just the small little things that we give them. What they need to do is they need to stop this. And even my friend Prizzy, he said this on his stream when I was talking with him about it. Seriously, if you just add them all, just add them all. Why do we have to do this elimination crap? People wanted 2017. People wanted stuff like the Hovering Inferno, the Monster of the Deep Sea. You could have added the monster to the deep sea question, with the aquatic the update and just had the phantom there too. You could have added the hovering inferno with another update. Time. This we new update could have added the bear trap looking mob. Why did we have Minecraft to get rid of the isolager and Moobloom? People and love the Moobloom. It should have come back to too. The Moobloom would have been really cool, but especially if it had variants with different flowers. The isolager, dude, we need something in these new cliffs. Goats are fine, but we need something and real. Thing that we added and why do we have to get rid of the glare of the eye and the cup of golem? Entity, uh, why does only one of them get to stay? That's unfair. That allows, like, why can't we just have all of them? And of you just wait to add them. You, add you said that. They literally said that with the ostrich, the meerkat, Hello, the desert everyone. update, My name is Jonas. the savannah update, Minecraft the vulture, the frog, the swamp, and the badlands. They said all this will be added some point in Minecraft. So why do these the other things time. have to Today suffer too? Why do we have to have this whole belief system of only one of them can mods. appear in the game? add them all. Prissy agrees with me on this, and he's the one that actually made me realize it more, just seriously. Such as just the add them all. The this summer I've collaborated with Mojang to create a new plugin for Blockbench. The plugin makes it super easy to get started with add-on creation by generating everything you need for a custom entity in just a few clicks. Sure. They already have so many I'm assets in Minecraft. The there are mods that would do this better than Mojang to does. To install the plugin, 
I'm heading to file plugins available. Minecraft's a big game as it is already. I'm, I'm sure some extra lines of code dedicated to a certain mom aren't gonna bring the game to its knees. Let's go. I'm going to pick a preset that looks similar to the grizzly, like this polar bear, and I'll use the same for the behavior. Like um. Okay, now the add-on is created on your computer. Now let's start customizing our model using Blockbench. I've been talking over this, but I'm this actually example, interested. Because we already have a bear model, I'm just going to recolor the model. Of course, you could also change the whole model to turn it into something entirely different, like this butterfly that I made, and is based on the vanilla badge. This is actually really interesting. Okay, this looks good. Now I'm going to press save and switch over to Minecraft. I can find our new grizzly oh, bedrock in the behavior pack section and simply not enable it. Then. This will automatically enable it. It does look like a big dog. Well. Now let's check out the entity in game. I just need to grab a spawn egg from the inventory and use it. And here's our grizzly bear. I'm bear so created. Make the new it's free and works on all platforms. told you all that I made a mob, but actually all three of us made mobs because we wanted to showcase that anyone can be a Not creator. That bad. I like that. So That's Fanny, cool. tell us about your adorable mob that you made. Thank you. Yes, I, I was so excited to know that Blockbench was a thing because I immediately thought I need to add my dogs to Minecraft. I really, really love them and I was just oh, excited. Sweet. Like Blockbench made it very easy for me to just obsess over <laughs> every single detail. Like every pixel was like, does that That's look nice. like my like dog? That. And then I also modified the geometry, especially the tails, uh, to look like yeah. the exact twist that That's my nice dogs have. Bad. I really obsess a lot and I was very happy. Especially when Huskies I are like the able best to add my own animation. I'm definitely Huskies. not an art person and I just made it so that it like wiggles their tails when they're if singing. I could, I, I'm I not gonna get the dog right now, but oh, if I could get the dog right now, I thought it was so good. I thought it was really good. Both them in there. Thank you. So, me being kind of, uh, you know, born in the Pacific Northwest, outdoorsy, I mean, I'm wearing flannel on the, on the stage, I wanted to kind of pull something from that nature. So, I made Evelyn Evergreen. Uh, she's this uh, kind of cute little uh, evergreen tree that you maybe see, you know, walking around the, the deep forest. Um, <laughs> kind of fantasy driven. Um, then I animated the arms and the legs, just these, these little stick legs that kind of walk around, uh, just to add something, you know, kind of, you know, kind of cute and cool to the forests. Her eyes are really staring right into my soul. I love it. I would love to just happen upon Did Evelyn really need in to the add forest. Multiple dog breeds to Minecraft? So I went Why do we get totally twelve cats? From the two of you? But we don't get multiple dogs. Dude, I want a husky in Minecraft. I would scratch. love to have huskies. Fanny, like you built yours on top of a wolf. I built mine on top of something. I did not animate. I just wanted to do the beginner's course of block bench. And so I made something Dude, very near and dear very to painful. my Florida heart with a twist, which is what I'm calling an alolotl, an axolotl, and an alligator. <laughs> it's a, kind of like a little dragon. It does look like a little dragon. It's a pretty good, uh, pretty good match up there. I could I see that. Great. I could see what you're talking Yeah, I thought an alligator and an axolotl would be super innovative when added together, but it does just look like a dragon. But I'm okay with that because I am a creator now based yeah. on your definition because exactly. i made that and i showed it to all of you 15 minutes which ago they posted being something that you make I'm just waiting for the in a game that you've played you know for me for 11 years <laughs> it was it was amazing it is so rewarding really to be able to just do that so we encourage you all to try it like if someone that like paint is the only skill that i have like i know everyone can do it so please go install block bench and try it out like we would be so so incredibly proud to just platform, see I everything might. that I you might. feel we would love to see it yeah it's available I'm on all the platforms and just you know post them on twitter post them on wherever you do and might you know, take we'll probably a run across some of those and we'd love seeing them oh i can't wait oh, to see what everyone so else good. creates and Little i mean i think guys. that our oh. our mobs they need to add more fantasy mobs, mobs to minecraft year, so we don't even have to work on anything else. These three like are, that. are that perfect. Needs, I could see like a mushroom variant from mushroom biomes. For mushroom biomes. I would, I would give them a so little more life. So we're not professional creators, obviously, by our mobs, even though they're lovely. But Quinn, you get to work with people who, this is their full-time job, making Minecraft content for Marketplace. What is that like? I, it's something that I'm just Im immensely proud of. Like being able to see so many people engage in the marketplace and allow them you know 
to allow creators to become full-time Minecraft content creators as their careers. Um, I mean, I think Sonic it's incredible too the, because uh, the marketplace doesn't just support DLC. you know these huge studios, uh, but we also have really small independent creators that you know make just texture packs um, or like Shalakin Schematics. That's just a family on the on the West Coast that makes their own worlds. And uh, the fact that the marketplace can support all of them and you know. That is true. Is Dark of Force is so very cool. fantasy potential, there's so much and there's like nothing that naturally that our creators there. Have Everything that else is there. A video with some of our favorites from this past year. I wonder if the guys like helping MCC. Look, I love Minecraft mobs, and I just kind of want to see everything that they ever talk about get added, just because it's kind of, it's just a shame with all the stuff wrong with it. It almost feels like a dream that I'm making a living, making content for the marketplace. It is the best job that I can possibly ask for. Funny you mentioned that, right? Don't, um, for like two months, I was like really, like I like, a, actually it was more like two weeks, I was really interested in making my own underwater city in Minecraft called uh, Valencia. No, I think it was called Victoria. I think I was trying to make an underwater city called Victoria. I like made another dome and then I just sort of got distracted by other projects. We just got to see some amazing reactions. Yeah. I do still want to do it. Underwater cities are cool. I remember so back when I only had Pocket today, Edition, really I tried to make an underwater it. house. It would be like a super big. I made like my house part and then I was like working on a farm part. It was super cool. Was super, I like working with the underwater. The thing is with Minecraft is working underwater, you need to have like a large amount of sponges. I was on this SMP, and I had this plan to make a plant called, something called Plate Lantis, which is where I took an like, ocean monument, drained it out, and turned it into a base. You need a heck of a lot of sponges if you're going to do underwater projects, because... And you're going to need a conduit if you're going to do any of this. Oh yeah, Sonic in Minecraft. Why are Amy's, why were Amy's bracelets so big? I can guarantee you they're not that big on the actual Sonic model. Well, she's gonna be better in the game since Forces. No, I think she's just been Forces. That was like their only newest game. Minecon, remember that? I know. It's, uh, wow. We're kicking things off with the announcement of the... We're gonna tell you right now. They are the aquatic village and village. Seriously, like I'm so excited. Bees, bees. Let's look at some bees. This is finally the have a nether update. Mm -hmm. Holiday update. We'll have the cats, pandas, bamboo, and scaffolding. Cave banquet update. David Nisage. I don't know what's going on. I still need to play that. I am the one that gets to decide how difficult the bosses are. There's so much content in dungeons. Oh I just bit. should get playing dungeons. The results of the first boat are in. The winner is Taiga. That's the only mob boat that came out the right way to me. No squid. <coughs> this is your chance to have a say in what goes into Minecraft. Seriously, my opinion. The only, the only mob vote that's gone the right way is the one that added foxes, because Minecraft foxes are literally one of the most adorable things I've ever seen. I love Minecraft foxes, dude, they made me love, Minecraft legitimately made me love foxes. I love foxes now because of Minecraft, and to me, the only mob slash biome vote that actually came out good was 2018 that added that basically said tigers will be added to minecraft from here on out everyone has just been eh. even the first one the mob phantom B. the phantom mom b the phantom one of the reasons people 10 years ago i stepped they on the added that. stage for the first time I still get nervous. And then and they added they added the Phantom and then they're like, haha, we're adding a thing stage. to disable the Phantom. I feel incredibly honored to be in front <sighs> of If we had a hovering inferno, none of this would have happened. If we just added the hovering inferno, none Minecraft of that would have happened. And our gratitude to all of you in our amazing community. 
Okay, now before I get so yeah, 2018 was the only mom boat than I was. where Let's everything over came out right. More about the adorable mobs that you must pick between. This might be time. Might be time. Here we go. It's almost time to vote. Before we do, though, let's take a quick look at your choices once more. We have the glare, a mob that lets players know when they're in an area that's dark enough for monsters. You can bring it no, with you, and it'll fly to dark areas. When it gets grumpy, you'll know that it's dark enough for monsters to spawn. Then there's the allay. If you give it an item, it will collect matching ones for you. It also loves music. So if there's a note block nearby, that's where it will drop these items for you. And finally, the copper golem. A little golem that mm -hmm. you yourself can make out of copper. They oxidize over time and will eventually freeze into statues. They love spending their time randomly pressing copper buttons, which would also be added to the game if the copper golem wins the vote. So those are your choices, and they are all so amazing. How will you choose? Debatable. Jens gave us a lot to think about. And now you need to decide which mob you think you'd enjoy the most during your time playing Minecraft. Any of them would be useful, but choose is, your is favorite. Is the vote up? I'm not on Twitter right now. Now, yes, that's right. The poll okay. is now. Okay, go, 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 go. Vote time, vote time. Let's go, let's go. Go to your Twitter account. Go to the Minecraft Twitter account and find go, go. the launch poll with all three choices. Don't forget to click. On oh, the Twitter, please do not take this long. Minecraft. You can do it right now. After the first round of votes, I'll check back in with Screw you it. so we can open Hold on. the final round. I'm going on Twitter. I'm going on Twitter on that stuff. My name is Nuit. Whatever's I'm going on, who cares? Who cares what's going on right now? I'm literally going on my desktop because my stupid tablet Oh my god, did they did the vote crash? Go, go, go! Glare, 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 vote the glare! Excellent shows you can watch Go! Oh no! Don't you mean subscribe today? Oh no! I'm making a tweet. I'm making a tweet. What even is Minecraft? These are just some of the questions you can ask us. Oh, uh, come on, come on. I'm, I'm doing it. Sh shoot. Do you think making a video game is an easiest thing? Who cares what they're talking about right now? Literally no one thinks so. that. Well, I do. Until I started watching this. This tweet is just gonna be glare. That goes behind the blocks of every part of don't delete that again, please. Do they show the footage of you tearfully begging to be put in the game? Maybe in series three. Meet tweeting it, tweeting it, tweeting it, tweeting it. That is literally my last stitch effort to get the glare into Minecraft. That is literally my last stitch effort. Okay. With so much happening. No, we completely forgot about George. No, we didn't really done. Oh my God! Now George has to. Sh oh my God! Why didn't they just do that in the first place? George should have kept his mouth shut. Stabnap should have kept his mouth shut. Phil, sorry, Phil, you should have kept your mouth shut. Rombu kept his mouth shut. Why was Dream smart? Finally. Oh my God! Why was Dream the only smart one this year? You should never. Every I'm the only content creator that should be allowed to say who he votes for because I have an audience of 36. So I can say who I want in the game and I won't influence. Ragdoll, you did us a great service. Thank you. We may be on a sinking ship, but we are going down with this ship! We will sink with this ship! We will fight for the glare till our last breath. We will fight! Yeah, I think I have the coolest job. It's well, it's not in our favor. I checked sure Tommy's Twitter a few days ago. And that means I that think he's pro copper golem. Small sayings and details and bring a lot of ideas to the table, so hopefully make the game a bit better. That does sound cool. Yeah. You and the dungeons team okay. have been working. I don't so Tommy well. voted glare. Oh, yeah. Tommy, thank you. Cool Tommy. Thank you when you're thank you when you're annoying voice even though you're not really it's just a joke it's just a joke Tommy Tommy's a good person Tommy's great Tommy's great I would love to do content with Tommy I would love to do content with Rambo but anyways uh, the glare may go down but we will go down till the last we will fight till the last man woman 
anything in between is left standing. We will sink with this ship. The glare will not go down without a fight. Which brings back a lot of spooky modifiers to the game. Uh, gear, a new cape, a new pet, and there's my new favorite armor, uh -huh. which has a spoon steering. <laughs> I love that one. Yeah, <laughs> it, it, it's lovely. The player will like survive. We will fight tooth and nail to get the glare in. Hopefully not too much. <laughs> so Wait, Rombu? No, I thought Rombu didn't like the glare. I was watching his stream on Thursday. He's like, the glare. Yes, let's check it out. They're talking about it. That doesn't mean they voted it. I don't, know, I don't know. People just don't want to see the glare. I was hoping that I was. I kept making joke tweets. It's like all oh, the copper golem and the um, the alive will tear each other apart, and that way the glare will be left standing, and we can just sweep clean the vote. But no, no. Even if the glare doesn't win, I have a backup plan. I I have a backup plan. I'm gonna make a cannon in Blades World. I'm working on designs right now. I'm coming up with some designs. I might post them. I've been meaning to say this in my Discord, but I've been thinking about taking requests for what I do for Blade Roll drawings. I should tweet that. Well, not tweet it, state it after. Uh, if I wasn't streaming Super Paper Roblox after this, I might just go on my Switch and play Dungeons. I need to play Dungeons. The problem is with Dungeon Crawlers, I get so invested in exploring the dungeon that I forget. The, the game has more than just dungeon crawling aspect. Again, I've not even reached anything in this. In fact, the most I've heard from dungeons is what they put, what music they put in Smash, which was. Ooh, this is a song in Smash. I've heard this in Smash. This is Darlon, I think. I should know the dungeon songs. I have a disc that I just play in my car. It's just some of the Minecraft music in Smash. Wonder if they'll talk about Smash. It's been years since Steve's been added, but still. I believe we live in a reality where Steve and S Steve from Minecraft and Sora from that Kingdom Hearts so are yeah, literally going to fight each other. So so this is the reality we so live in. Steve from Smash in that video and, and Sora from Kingdom Hearts so are going to fight each other. Now the DLC is and Steve and Sora comes out in like two days right. yeah, on Monday. Now Sora. that we are over with the story of the Orb of Dominance, we sat together with our friends at Double Eleven and we started working on seasonal adventures which are a new way for the player to progress through the game and increase in ranks gather points and hopefully get cool rewards at the end that sounds amazing yeah so how long did they last right uh seasonal adventures although the name is seasonal uh will be infinite technically okay so for, for instance say we release seasonal adventure number two you will always be able to go back to seasonal adventure number one gather some rewards there go back to number two gather some rewards there so it's a bit up to you what you decide to do with seasonal it seasonal adventures That's are cool amazing. so it just lasts forever I, like DLC get the content content. I would love to get the dlc all the Maybe if I get and Nintendo cards, I can get the DLC for Dungeons. Maybe that will give me the motivation to play Dungeons. Right, yeah, we added tons of new rewards that are completely new to the Minecraft universe. Uh, some old, some new. It seems like uh, an amalgamation of, of all pets. Minecraft when it comes uh, to Smash. We have things like the duck and the fox, and I am so in love with all of them. We have <laughs> flares which are new VFX that you can apply to your character, so whenever you drink a potion or you beat an enemy, you Just get to taunt. show off a little bit and get some shininess there. Um, also, we got in some emotes, which are okay, the little dances or little expressions you can do with your character. Show uh, off a little. Yeah, exactly, and have some fun with your friends. Why not, like, like we see here, having a party. <laughs> also, we added tons of new capes, because everyone loves capes. They do. And I see the pride cape. Kids, just in case we were missing That's a lot of skins. Yeah, <laughs> that's a ton of skins. Yeah. Well, now we have a question from a Minecraft creator. Right. Hey, Strawberry17 here. Oh, I know her. Question. Will there be free content included as a part of Seasonal I know adventures? her. She was like on, she had like a show on some TV. <laughs> <laughs> the answer is yes. Uh, we always try to make sure there's content for everyone regardless. So for Seasonal Adventures, there'll always be a free track and a track you can pay for. 
So there'll be different rewards in each, and you'll be able to get whichever Maybe you want should... at any time. Yeah. So yeah, we wanted to. We're gonna do other everyone. things That's after great. this, but so after the. You... Earn Chapter rewards. H stream. Maybe right. I should play you dungeons. You will be able to get adventure points all throughout the game, uh, meaning that during the regular stuff you do, you'll get them. Like, say you beat a daily trial. Mm -hmm. uh, at the end of the daily trial, you get adventure points. Also, we implemented new weekly challenges. So we'll ask you, like, this week, if you beat the hundred zombies, you'll get extra adventure That's points. That's a lot of zombies. Yeah, but people do it so fast. <laughs> I'm always so impressed. Um, yeah, I mean, and zombies and dungeons are sort of just cannon way fodder. To get adventure points is in the tower. Creepers, those things. Okay, those things the tower, suck. Which we have not spoken about. No, Creepers are worse so in dungeons than they are in Minecraft. Actually, the tower kind of is another in free single player just feature shoot from far that away. we've added to camp. So you'll be able to see this gigantic tower in the camp. I love how it turned out. Uh, and it is a space with 30 different floors. Each floor harder than the one before, and, and you'll get to fight the arena boss. You'll get to fight bosses. Uh, you'll get to meet some new tower inhabitants, and this is just, yeah, this hopefully is just telling me play dungeons, play more dungeons, so log more hours into dungeons. You have six hundred hours in Smash. You don't bottom, need to play Smash again. And you'll be able to find new gear as you progress. Okay. So yeah, the floors get more difficult. Your character gets stronger, and so you can test your skill. That sounds really fun. So let's take a look at some live gameplay of the tower right now. And for that, we have JP. Hi, JP. Hello. How do you like my throne? I <laughs> think you stole that throne from the arch villager. I think he stole it from me. <laughs> <laughs> I love the Smash remix of arch villager. That is such power. a good song. Nice. So what are we seeing here, Laura? Right. So we prepared some special floors to showcase here. So this is an example of a very early floor in the tower. So if you see like JP's tower level. avatar uh, has very little amount of gear, mm -hmm. and yeah, you'll be always have the context that oh, you're like high up in the tower, right? That's so cool. Yeah, we also wanted to make sure oh, that uh, oh, that's the tower is that a was a mystical, magical space. So <laughs> yeah, we have a road, front. we have Ooh. a river. Why not? <laughs> so you'll be able to find a ton of magical spaces and uh, uh, new characters to meet. Uh, so yeah, this level is quite easy, as you can see. Uh, since I don't know, that makes me yeah, panic. Yeah, doing really well. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> that that and makes me panic. Can see a sneak peek and again, I'm not like far from dungeons. I that's uh, our tower keeper. Very cool. Yeah, I do understand the mechanics of dungeons, though. The tower and yeah, we'll guide you around and whoop. Wow, JP did really well. Yeah, Maybe it was, it was so fast. Too easy. Yeah. So each of these levels generates itself, but you can come back for up to two weeks and replay the same thing. Right, yeah. Our tower runs will be seeded, uh, and they will change every two weeks, meaning that for two weeks you'll be able to learn mm. what happens in every floor. So say uh, I reach floor five and I get defeated nice. on floor That's five. Clever. So then next time around, I'll remember, ah, I should have chosen a different weapon, and then I bet I could have done it. So, yeah, you can share that, like that. I like that. with your friends, and you can learn together how to That's go clever. to the tower. Yeah, practice yeah. and get better. Exactly. All right, let's give JP a real challenge now. Right. We're going to go up the tower to a much higher floor. Right. Go floor 30. Do it. But like the right, top so floor. here we've prepared an, a sample of what a harder floor could look like. Oh, so slimes. I'm not encountered all of them. going to be a new exciting combinations of mobs that we've never had before. Uh, so GP is right now fighting jungle mm. mobs, but there'll be ice mobs together with them, and there'll be some new mobs. Here you can mobs. see some tower wraiths uh, like that spawn fire in different new combinations. We also will have uh, tower guards, which are extremely bulky. <laughs> vote the guards. move, move. We even have a <laughs> yeah. in the middle. Yeah, vote the move, move. Uh, JP's getting wow. sniped. <laughs> yeah, let's vote so, the move loom, guys. Let's just add a new option. Yeah, that's a let's, get, guard, let's get the move loom added. So, yeah, we're getting tons of new combinations. I'm gonna do that next Minecraft. I'm gonna do that next Minecraft. I'm gonna be like, don't vote anything. Vote the glare. This looks really difficult. Yes, yes it is. Uh, JP's not doing so good right now. No. What is this, like 430? Oh, JP, that was a valiant attempt. Yes. Really, really uh, good. That was Play so 430. good. So, You've talked about so many new things, but yeah. when will people get to see them? Right. We'll get to see them. Hopefully everyone will get to play in December. 
December. So, very, very soon. Cool. That is very play Minecraft soon. Dungeons. Thank you so it. much, Lara, for coming by. This is all very exciting. Thank you for having me. Let's take one last look at some gameplay from the tower. It's gonna scare me if I want to do this every time. I'm just like, I will play Minecraft Dungeons. I got a tower in four weeks from that. I'm just like, no, wait, I don't know what I'm doing. This is DLC, and then I can't get it. Nope. I mean, I hint that it was gonna be DLC, but if it ends up kind of being DLC, there's no way I can kind of do anything with that. Once again, our friends at Element Animation have made us something to enjoy and perhaps even sing along to, all while taking us through every. Oh, we Element. Right now, I know those Kate guys. Part one. Try not to get this one stuck in your head. Those the villager guys. I only say this name? because it's been stuck in mine. They reach the big leagues. Hey, you two! Have you discovered all the features in part one of the Caves and Cliffs update? Can someone explain why I have a video in my recommended? It's called Oma the Door Kicker. No, I'm not even joking. I have a video. It's called Oma the Door Kicker. What? Why is why is Oma kicking doors? Yes, guess that Oma. I wouldn't be talking about another Oma. There's only one Oma that I know about, and it's that one. Is this like those people who make like Danganronpa, um, sprite animations over like comedians' videos? Is that what this is? Okay, you know what I'm interested in? I'm saving it to watch later. So much more. Oh, well, it's been quite the turnout for our first round of mob voting. You have made your decision and now oh, one right. mob must I go. I new we have the glare, the LA, and the copper golem. But you, the community, have spoken, and now one mob must leave the race. And that mob is... the Glare. So that still leaves two amazing mobs to choose from. Which one do you want? Will it be the Alay or the Copper Golem? How do you see yourself playing and interacting with them in the future? Which one will make your game life easier or more fun? Or like the Year of the Phantom, way more terrifying? Don't worry about what anyone else wants. This is all about you and how you want to play Minecraft. But make your decision quickly because it's time to vote again. There's a brand new poll just posted to the Minecraft Twitter account with only these. All right, we two lost Copper Golem. All right, pro Copper Golem. Make sure you're logged onto Twitter and click the mob that you just can't wait to spend your days and nights with in the game. Your vote really counts. So don't miss out on your chance. To All right, go vote Copper Golem now. Minecraft. Hold on, I gotta go you know get mine up. Going to vote for? I gotta refresh my entire. I think I can see Yen's voting right now. All eleven tweets. What the? What happened? When did eleven tweets get out of order? Okay. Okay. No. So I know this will come as a surprise. Okay. I'm just much gonna keep ignoring it. But I definitely didn't love everything about school. Maybe. I'm just gonna keep ignoring the mob vote and. At Minecraft in my class. Just do whatever. Minecraft I Education Edition is available. Oh yeah, Education schools, Edition. Schools and after school programs. I was ignoring the mobo for the entire awesome section, and I'm gonna keep doing that again. Minecraft Marketplace. Re learn about everything from sustainability. Wait, what am I doing? To ancient worlds, even how to speak new languages, all in Minecraft. The coolest part it. is seeing how with Minecraft, the students often become the teachers. When I tried becoming the teacher in my fifth grade science class, well, let's just say it wasn't appreciated. I'm but anyway, let's take a look class. at how Minecraft is being used in classrooms around the world by kids who didn't get in trouble just for telling everyone that homework was canceled forever. Young people all over the world are using Minecraft to explore issues that matter like social justice, climate change, Excuse and- Excuse me? 
have different classes such as braille and sign language. We reached what is going on? I don't know. I'm, I'm on YouTube scrolling, and, YouTube scrolling and I just got heard that people are using built. Minecraft assault racism. What? They thought about clean energy and inclusive design. An interesting fact Welcome to Minecraft. We have actual issues. Okay, I need to see what you're talking about now, and I'm honest, I'm gonna be honest, I'm not really wanting to listen. Into Minecraft worlds. Uh, let me see what you're talking I'm about. Guidance of my educator, Kamal Bam. I would like to present. I have a tweet from Minecraft. What are you talking about, Nagi? Says talking to me on Twitter. And from Punjab, the land I don't see what you're talking about. In Canada, Australia, I gotta change my name on Twitter now. Um, we lost. To explore I just gonna do that off stream because I don't need you seeing what I write. And they're not just building blocks. They're building super useful skills. Games like Minecraft prepare you for the future. Teaching us how to Bro, work together, I play Minecraft to have fun and not to prepare code. for the future. I'm, I already the have to prepare for the future. Like, Here's this, do this, off you go. But now it's like blank schedule. Minecraft. I never yes, got to do please. Minecraft in school. I went to school when Minecraft was still seen as a, a greener New York City in an epic citywide esports battle. I don't know about you, but I wish I had this in school. I think I would have been all over oh, this. Oh, absolutely. Dude, I wish I had Minecraft in school, man. Kids in Wales designed middle the school especially, bro. I would have enjoyed going to middle school. Middle school sucks. I hate middle school. students built turtle habitats and wind farms. Welcome to Minecraft Education so Mission. We tell you to be woke. A bee sanctuary in Minecraft. During this build, I learned that bees do this thing I should stop. Storm. I'm kind of being a jerk. We can live what are you talking about? We can treat what are you talking about? about? I do not see what are you talking about. should always be fun. Let's build a better world. I don't together. see Nakito talking to me on Twitter. Do I get a notification? What are you talking about? What are you talking about? Now it's the big moment. Let's My stream just has started 18 minutes ago. Update. Welcome back, Agnes. Update. Thank you. How's the show felt for you? This is for good. Like, I think it's a really fun show, <laughs> and also because we've shown so many exciting things. Absolutely. I, I mean, I'm feeling quite nostalgic since this is number 10, and I have to say, I was the seventh employee, the first woman on the team, and when I see you leading Minecraft, I just feel so excited about where we're going. <laughs> Thank you. That was, that was very sweet of you. Okay. Of course, we have many that lead it together, but I like uh, I'm like the creative lead, and I'm like yeah, I'm, I'm super happy about game. that. But it feels Three. quite surreal because you know, I also used used to be a Minecraft player and love this game, and it's it's yeah. Yeah, I'm very happy and lucky to be here. Yes, I think we all feel so that far way. beyond it's, it's so creator, cool and that's good because so its creator is horrible. Not just a horrible person. Love it and mm. care about it, and like we all feel like. I mean, we are part of the community, too. Yes, we definitely are. And now, Agnes, you are going to <laughs> reveal to us what the next update is. Yes. Okay. So, the next update is called the Wild Update. <laughs> the Wild Update sounds very, very huh? intriguing. So, what mm -hmm. is it in so, the word wild mainly means like two things for us. So the first thing is like beautiful nature, and the second thing is like really scary challenges and adventures. Oh, that sounds awesome. And so what we're gonna do is we're gonna have some of our gameplay designers come and tell us more about specific things about the wild update because there's these different parts to it. And we have the first one here, which is our deep dark expert, Brandon. Oh, yep. Hello. Hi, this Brandon. needs to be Welcome. added. Thank you. Talk about that. So, we've moved the deep dark into this update. Can you talk to us more about why? <laughs> yes, I mean, one of the biggest things about the deep dark and the water and the skull is that it's just expanded. It's gotten bigger, and we've we really wanted to make sure that we did this right and that we didn't just rush it. Um, that includes even unique loot inside the deep dark as well. And yeah. Um, we also want to make sure that uh, we, sorry, <laughs> uh, let's actually look at some of the new things that we have in it I don't right know now, which about. is the ancient cities. <gasps> awesome, I can't wait, oh wow. Oh, oh my, oh my god, that is awesome. 
Yo, that is so cool. Oh, oh, this definitely deserved to wait. Oh, I'm so glad they pushed this back and this is what it's gonna look like. Oh, this, oh, this is gonna be like horror too, cause, cause the, the warden's probably gonna be here. Oh, this is legitimately so cool. This, this deserves to wait an update. Oh, I'm, okay, I'm cool with this now. We're, we're waiting an update to get this? Yeah. Yeah, this deserved to wait. This deserved to wait till 1.19. Wow, it's, like, both beautiful and You couldn't see my face, but I was legitimately like, I so shocked and amazed by that. Deep dark biome. Yes, I mean, we really didn't want the deep dark biome to just be, you know, caves or just skulls spread around. Oh, thank you for that. a bit more mystery to it. Um, and, you know, there's this ancient city, and what is it doing there? We're not going to tell the players, we're just going to let them... Dude, Retro Gaming now is going to have so much fun with it. lore. Um, and he's going to be... Like he's going to so make a video on this. I guarantee you, he is so making a video on this right now. something interesting about it that you're going to have to explore in-game. It's really cool. I, I, like, it feels like a place you want to explore. I yes. love that it really deepens the mystery of Minecraft. Like, Minecraft is all about player stories, and Deep Dark definitely inspires the storytelling, I think. That's so cool. And so, last year you showed us the Skulk Sensor, but I know you've been working on it. A little Skulk family? <laughs> a, a, a yes. Skulk family? Like, like, is it that yeah, maybe friendly? they're not so cute. They're not so friendly, no. Yeah, last year we focused a lot on the Skulk Sensor, but since then we've kind of been trying to figure out what do all the different blocks in the Skulk family do. And one of them actually is something called a Skulk Catalyst. And the main thing about the Skulk Catalyst is it's actually what causes the Skulk to spread. As you can see here, whenever a mob dies, such as a zombie, near the Skulk Catalyst, it actually spreads the Skulk underneath it. And the amount is based on how much XP that zombie would have dropped. Oh god, so, people are looting. No, the deep dark, it's kind of overgrown with all these skull blocks, so that means that lots of mobs must have died there? Quite a lot, yes. <laughs> Dude, retro gaming now is so going to love more speculation. Mm, and as you can see here, when you mine some of the skull bl blocks, you actually get enchanting points. Oh! Yes, and of course, oh. if you still want to get some of the blocks for decoration or something, you can just use a silk touch. XP farms? <laughs> so when this block is activated, mm -hmm, it's gonna give that really scary shriek sound that we hear heard now. And it also gives this darkness effect, so it's like pulsating darkness. Oh, that's terrifying. <laughs> this could be used in so much map. Step on a skulk sensor, even sneaking, it will activate. Wow, okay, definitely not a friendly family. Dude, this is and I will so say to school. our younger viewers, in a in a minute we're gonna show you a clip that's a little scarier. Bro, but I don't. just I mean Brandon, those have so many things that players can do with them. Like that is what so do you true. imagine? I get to know so many things. I think the skull catalyst is gonna be really interesting because you know, when you, you could create a mob farm with the like through the tech community. He um, just stated what I was thinking. When a mob dies, it doesn't drop XP unless you, the player, actually kills it. So with this, you might be able to create some sort of XP farm. Ooh. Yeah. There's lots of opportunities. And you can build like experiences for other players. Like imagine building like a haunted mansion or a really dark forest, and Yo. then you have the shriekers. Yo. Yo. <laughs> You're giving me ideas, <laughs> Agnes. You're giving me ideas. And then they activate the shriek, and you're like. Eh. I was still working on my fusion foam map. I would use this for like the no lands. Maybe for the dark lands because I know fusion foam has some like sound effects that play in the backgrounds. We have a community question for you. Hi, it's Junta from Germany, and my question is: What was the inspiration behind the Shrieker? Yeah, I mean, that's an interesting question. From the art side, we actually had the inspiration behind the human larynx, which is like really? the vocal cord or vocal structure or something. That, Just actually. something that represents kind of creating sounds. And from the gameplay perspective, we wanted to make sure that, first of all, the warden spawns in a unique way, and also in a way that you can avoid it. So mm. usually you can kind of sneak around, and as long as you don't activate the uh, skull shriekers, then the warden won't come. But 
if you do make too many noises and that the stock trigger activates too many times, the warden will come. You know. He's back. Where is he? Oh my god, we're turning Minecraft into a horror game. Legitimately, this is a horror game now. This is legit a horror game. Back to thinking that Skulk family is very adorable and sweet. <laughs> Legitimately, wow. truth there is, is I sometimes there. turn on peaceful Definitely mode when I'm playing on my survival world. I have a feeling that's going to be eternally on when I'm in so deep that means darks. You know that wardens are kind of in the deep dark, in the walls, under the floor, and the it walls. also has developed a sense of smell. So, of course, you can sneak around and try to be, you know, quiet and not de get detected, but. Unfortunately, the warden's still going to be able to sniff you out and find where you are, and if it sniffs you while you're really close by, then it's going to start noticing you. Wait, so basically the warden is like, shh, shh, smell that? I, I love the warden sound effects. It sounded like a legitimately yes, tortured it's creature. It's not going to be fun for you. It's not like some I mean, SCP I think that's like crap. This is like an SCP. If this was a thing in real life, an underground dark, city is haunted by like one thing, this would be an SCP. trying to avoid the warden. I think it's something really exciting with that really really cool i mean i think you have definitely upped the terrifying level brandon and i just <laughs> love yeah. how much you've expanded the deep dark to feel it's so it's so immersive yes definitely it's really amazing thank you so much for joining us and and scaring us half to death no worries that's my job <laughs> he, yeah he's so expert like if you want to do something scary it's like friend <laughs> <laughs> thanks brandon thank you thank so much you. Brandon. so agnes the deep dark is one part this sort of very adventurous side of the wild mm, update the which the update. name is starting to really mm -hmm. become clear after talking to brandon and then the other part you said is really this more of that beauty and you know the atmosphere does this mean everything you minecraft? promised us yes. over so the years is finally getting at it the wilderness of minecraft and one thing we want to focus on is immersion so when you play minecraft we really want you to feel that you're inside the minecraft world actually like we are now. <laughs> so beautiful. Is that what? And oh, that's why it says. We like also this. Have, want to focus or have focused on biome diversity, so we want to find like unique identity for different biomes. For example, oh. the birch forest, as you can see in this beautiful concept art. So in the birch forest, you want it to be like light and peaceful, and the sun reaches the ground. The trees are taller and the flowers. We're getting shaders. We're getting shaders. Really beautiful. It looks very Swedish in the birch forest. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> That's actually a very Swedish forest. Unless I'm legitimately yeah, adding real shaders. And then you have, so you want to add more atmosphere to the different biomes, but there's one biome that you want. I mean, I would say you're giving it quite an overhaul. It's getting a lot more in the yes. wild update. Yes. That's true. And that's the swamp. Oh. <laughs> frogs. Our art team is just so amazing. It's so, so it's finally getting the frogs and back. As you can see here, the atmosphere is really different from, from the birch forest as well. It really is. It's amazing. So we have another one of our gameplay designers here and our swamp expert, Corey. Welcome, Corey. Hi, Corey. Hey. Absolutely wild to be here. <laughs> oh, no, Corey. <laughs> the puns are so quick <laughs> to start. I didn't even realize it was a pun. Thanks for yeah, mentioning it on my map. <laughs> So you're going to tell us about all of the, ex I mean, there's a lot of exciting things coming to the swamp, so what are we getting? Yes, there are a lot of awesome things coming, the first of which is the boat with the chest in it. It's coming! We're getting it back! 
It's coming back! They kept their word! The buy and vote stuff is coming back! It's back, folks! The boat with the chest is back! The buy and vote 2019, baby! It's coming back! Oh, this is gonna help me so much with transporting. Oh my god, you cannot know how much pain I do with it's transporting. It's so useful! And relaxing. Yes, and especially now, you know, in Kiseki Fatu, we have even wider rivers, so it's easier to travel water, so it's gonna be, like, extra useful. Yeah, and, like, in the aquifers as well. <gasps> yes, but, look, like, when you go rafting, in the case, you can, like, put your diamond in the chest in your boat. Oh, this is really amazing. So and safe. you've been working on what I think now will be my favorite tree in Minecraft. Yes, mangroves. We are adding the mangrove tree. Yes! They're coming back! So as you can see here, this is a propagule, and propagules grow from mangrove trees. They're actually, like, ready to grow, uh, mangrove, mini mangroves growing from the mangrove. Oh. And you can see here, the mangrove tree grows propped up on root blocks. Uh, finally! Down from the leaves. Oh my god, the finally! An actual growing, swamp like, tree! Grow from the leaves themselves. And finally! Really like how the finally! When I do swamp and, builds, okay, I'll actually have a tree that I can tree. use! Okay, so in real life, the oh. propagules grow, like I said, from the... I had this map that was, like, water, an Australia map like, for, like, Wizards water. 101. It was, like, a concept a of a world, an Australian world. And I wanted this the, swamp the, area. Like, water under, Bro, under I could not build it because I could not get the swamp-looking trees. So all the trees, which is normal oak, but with leaves, with vines, I mean. So finally, I can have swamp trees! I'm really, really excited that we're adding them to Minecraft. That's awesome, and this is the first sapling that you can plant underwater. Yeah, you can plant it. At least only we get a new type of wood. Well. That's so cool. When you first showed me the mangroves and you talked about your favorite thing, the propagules, I actually remember playing in mangroves in Florida and we would use them to like write in the, the sand because they're super cool. That's amazing. Oh, see Florida. them in Minecraft is just so, so exciting. And of course, where there's a new tree, there must be a new wood type. Yeah. 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 Do come with a new wood type. And like always when we add a new tree, we are so happy, like we get so many questions from the community like, will there be it's, a new wood type? <laughs> and, and it's like a, oh that's kind of cool though. We were able to add it's like a, wood type like a darker jungle wood. And look at it, I think it's really pretty. And you also don't see like all the blocks here, it's gonna be like a However now we're gonna have people arguing about which is the best and type and this so. is gonna come up now. Gorgeous. We're back to the wood wars, right, folks. <laughs> I'm like, I'm very excited about mangroves, but I just need to mention another thing. Because <laughs> we, we decided to go with, like, really It's like a dark acacia. So cool, and we no, it's like a lighter acacia, a darker. And forth, and it it's like, like a mix of acacia and jungle. Here, but now I'm so happy that we went with the, like, it's, it's not acacia. Roots, acacia is way too orange. This is like a more a bow, a and then you can go a pastel under the orange. mangroves, and I think that adds such a nice <sighs> feeling to it. Oh, that is yeah, amazing. Like this picture, it's really nice water. That's I, beautiful. I, I really agree, and like when I was testing, I really loved that feeling of like being underneath it, being yeah. like this, this huge feeling, and I, I wanted more. I wanted to be surrounded by mangroves. So I was like, hmm, why don't I just make a mangrove swamp biome where I'm completely surrounded by them? So, as you can see in this video, walking around, we're just completely oh, what surrounded is that in the block mangroves. On the ground? Just oh. mangroves as far as the eye can we're see. We're getting like a marsh like And you have all the mangroves propped up on their roots, growing in the water, so you can take your boat underneath like Agnes likes. <laughs> and you're just completely surrounded <laughs> by the awesome beauty of it. I'm loving it's this. so beautiful. Oh, and I mean, during the sunset, every time I was testing, I would actually like pause the day night cycle just to watch the sunset in the mangrove swamp. It's super beautiful. That's absolutely gorgeous. I noticed that that was not dirt. Good eye, Lydia. <laughs> that was wet dirt, otherwise known as mud. Oh. So That's much. amazing. So you've Can actually mud? added mud to do something really cool. Yeah, so we're adding really cool renewability mechanics to mud. The first of which is if you take a dirt block and pour a water bottle on it, then you can get more mud. And then the other one is if you take your mud block and you stick it on top of the dripstone, it will sort of like drip the water out of the mud and eventually dry it out, which turns into clay. Mm, I, I see clay farms. I see brick like farms and like coming out for builds. Perfect. Yeah, your local mason isn't going to be super happy with you there. 
<laughs> That's actually true. I, I have this one mason, that Simon tier mason in my village, and I always trade with him. You're taking so, a villager's you know, job. Oh, boo-hoo. But dude, renewable clay. Yeah, it's really, really cool. Oh, boo-hoo, you only need two villagers. Um, yes, we're also someone to just bricks. trade with and a librarian. So, mud bricks are really, really exciting like building block and as you can see here the the brick texture is actually different than the other stone bricks that we have in the game so they're sort of smaller more compact but it is really cool like to build with it matches a lot of different block sets and i i'm really excited to build with them i could use a new brick type i That's just cool. love the look of them they're awesome i could use a new so brick beautiful. type. we have a creator question for the two of you uh -huh. I'm so excited they asked this question because I really wanted to answer it. So the main reason that I wanted to add mud bricks to the game is that I really wanted people to feel like they're okay, all around the world there are houses built out of mud bricks. So many that people around the, the world have houses, buildings using mud bricks, and I really wanted people who are playing Minecraft to feel like they could build their home and feel like they're at home in Minecraft. So I'm really glad we got to add them for that. Mm. Amazing. Yes, I mean it's it's so important for us that like everyone feels equally welcome when playing Minecraft. So that is, these people. That so is good. absolutely amazing. Now, so we have like amazing new trees. We have mud everywhere. <laughs> we definitely need something very cute. Frogs? Yes. Frogs? Well, very cute and quite derpy. Frogs? Frogs. Frogs are back. They look a little different, but we got frogs. That jump animation is very rough, but probably. Let's smooth it out. Oh uh, yeah, the, the, we did it! One of the mob, one of the uh, biome votes finally is getting added. We're getting frogs! About time. This was like, what, 2019? They are cute and derpy. That's the perfect description of them. <laughs> the crow oh. game is amazing. <laughs> and did you see the one that jumped like backwards? <laughs> one fell in the, the water. Their jump animation is a little re refining and to me. And they do, like they do love jumping frogs. And especially on lily pads. And actually also on big brick leaves because um, the big brick leaves kind of look like lily pads. But the funny thing with that is then when they jump on top of the big brick leaves, it's gonna tilt and then it will bounce. One of them did it just. <laughs> Are they going to full a, damage? Like, well, it seems like they should. Oh. <laughs> they might. And you're adding another little, little tiny creature what? to this update. <laughs> yes, the fireflies. <gasps> For, uh, you can see them roaming around, adding a lot of ambience to the swamp, making it feel just nice and cozy at night. But really, my favorite part of them is just making the world come to life, like feeling like there's life going on all around you. And <gasps> oh yeah, also their frog food. <laughs> Yeah, I forgot to mention that. They're frog food. This looks like something straight out of a mod. Look how happy that frog is. Yeah, and they're beautiful frogs. And this is official. So mm. You can both enjoy them in the atmosphere, and the frogs get to eat, so that's, you know. Everybody wins. <laughs> now, we're calling them fireflies, but Corey, is that what you called them growing up? Actually, no. We called them lightning bugs. I did, too. And in Swedish, it's... It's eldflugor, and that's actually literally translates to fireflies. Okay. <laughs> It's, a, it's very interesting. It became like a lot of people talking about what you called it growing up. But we're really excited to have fireflies. Call them fireflies. I don't know what you call them. In the game. I want to know more about baby frogs. Mm -hmm. yeah, of course you do. No, of course. All baby <laughs> mobs in Minecraft are just like tiny versions of the grown ups. But with frogs, we're actually adding tadpoles. I knew it. I was thinking about it. Because frogs aren't natural. They don't have their mountain animals, they're amphibians. Yo, wait, they added hop hop from amphibia to Minecraft? Once again, you deliver on the promise of cute and derpy with the tadpole. Me too. <laughs> yes, and you can pick them up in a bucket. Yes, and that's actually oh. extra helpful for oh, the no. tadpoles. Sorry. Because we have frog variants, and when a tadpole grows up, it will pick a variant depending on the temperature in the biome it grows up. Oh, just like pandas. So, for example, if it grows up in a really cold place, it's going to turn into a snowy frog. Yeah, what? as you can see here. So, the frogs have kind of like two main systems. One is the tadpole system, and the other one is the cold-blooded system. So the frogs are like the first cold-blooded animal in Minecraft. And in real life, there actually are frog variants that pick a cold
color. Wait, really? Uh, depending on, like, uh, or they I adapt thought frogs to can thrive in cold environments. On temperature. And we wanted to have that in Minecraft. We wanted to, like, Minecraftify it. So, therefore, the tadpole's gonna pick a variant. I'm gonna make a tweet with a picture of the frog and say, go, they added hot pot from Amphibia to Minecraft. Team two, what's the third one? The third one is the tropical frog. So let's say you are oh. venturing out into the desert or the jungle and you take your, your tadpole with you and if it grows up there it'll turn into a lovely tropical frog. And I, what I really love about the tropical frogs is how just relaxed they look. <laughs> their eyes. They're like blending into the sand almost. <laughs> look at their They're eyes. Relaxed, That's so cool. Just chilling there. Oh, I'm yeah. loving this update. Oh, I can't wait. And I, I this think is so good. There's a reason that they were yes, there, that Yes, there is a reason that they are white. So, like, I was reading a lot about frogs. Always when we had something new, we read up a lot. It's super fun because it can be really geeky. <laughs> and then I learned about this real life frog that's called Grey Somnus tree frog and lives, for example, in Angola, Botswana, and Kenya. And that They're frog can actually turn Africa. almost wow. white to avoid overheating. So oh, that's wow. like the inspiration for the tropical frog in that Minecraft. That makes I sense. love all three of them. And you didn't, so you have these different color variations, but you also have something else special about the frogs. Yes. So each frog variant can have something unique that will be useful for the players. But we actually don't even know what that is yet because we are working on the frogs right now. That is so cool. So Corey, love this which update. frog is your favorite? Oh, it's gotta be the snowy frog. It looks so cozy. Ooh, I'm I'm tropical frog. I'm very interested to I'm see default. which one. I'm default. I'm default frog because it looks like confidant. Yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> Thank you so much for joining us, Corey, and uh, taking us into a deep dive of all really cool swamp things. Yeah, Thanks. happy to be here. I'm loving this. This is probably my favorite update of, of the last few. <laughs> like I went this morning, Caves and Cliffs. I like that. Yeah. This is quite an awesome update, and I mean, I really see the name for the wild update. You get a bit of everything in it. Yes, and I love the contrast. Yeah, as you can see in this pretty concept art, it's really like that. This is so much better than Caves and Cliffs. Super terrifying deep I know people want in caves, that. but we're getting That's so much cool stuff for this update that Absolutely I just have amazing. to say this is better. Well, we're getting close to the end of the show, and as always, the time has flown by, and a lot has happened during this show. Okay, I hope they add the rest of the mob. Some of the biggest announcements, and then we will reveal the winning mob. I hope they have the vulture and like the um the ostriches. New, new So they still have like four other biomes they promised working on. So they've been out the swamp, so we still need the um uh we still need the badlands and vultures, as well as the badlands with the vultures, the deserts with the meerkats and termites. The, and the savannas with the ostriches. So actually, that's about it. And baobab trees. Oh, dude, we need that. This update had better give the savannas something to them. They added a hot pot to Minecraft. What? It, you guys haven't seen Amphibia. This doesn't make sense to you, but trust me, this is a, this is gonna be very funny to Amphibia fans. I should check if Amphibia got added. I'm so gonna love this update. Dude, this update is so good. Even if the fireflies are literally just two pixels, I love Minecraft Firefly. Now it's time to see what mob you chose to add to the game. It's time uh, hey, Jens, do you have to take a moment to remember the fallen. Everybody, wow. Very exciting. You really came in style. everyone prepare yourselves for <laughs> disappointment so or enjoyment. I have not been looking at the polls. Mm -hmm. Okay, but now it's time to announce the winner. Okay, and the winner is the LA. Wow. Yes, I'm super happy Let's take a moment. It, it's a lovely, lovely mob. That Let's is take a so, moment. so exciting. So, Agnes. Remember when can everyone expect the LA? So the LA will be included in the wild update and it's gonna be released next year. Next year, the wild update with the LA. I can't wait. Thank I'm you. I'm literally all taking off so my headphones. Much for joining us. Remember Minecraft the fallen. Wouldn't be what it is today we must remember all the fallen. From all of us at Mojang Studios. Thank you so much. Bye. Alright.
it. So before I do Super Paper Roblox, I got some funny tweets to 